Hey everybody, this is Nancy Ellen at the Crafty Yarn Barn. Today I'm going to show you how to finish off and fasten off a project using this cool loop it yarn doing finger knitting. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I've done is I've finished off my last row. Now I have this tail of yarn hanging off the end. So the first thing that we need to do is get some scissors. And what we're going to do is we're going to snip these loops so it's one long string of yarn. Right, so now let's look at these loops and I'll show you how to snip those loops and, and take them apart so that we can make a tail on our project. So right here where these loops are sewn together, you can see a little piece of white thread. Let me pull it up close. So you're going to take your scissors and you're going to snip where those loops are sewn together. And take it and you're going to do just a little snip. Don't cut the yarn, just cut the thread that holds that loop together. And see when you snip that piece of yarn, that loop comes apart. So now we're going to do it to the next several loops. And we're going to snip them apart so that we can have a tail to sew in and fasten off our project in the end. And right there is that little piece of thread. I'm going to come in with my scissors and just snip it. And then it pulls that loop apart, see? And I'm going to do it to the next couple. And I like to have a working, I like to have a yarn tail that's about five or six inches long. And I'm going to go ahead and snip, snip off this end piece here. All right now we've made our, our um, yarn tail. And now we're going to go to the opposite end of the row. Here's the yarn tail on this end. Now we're going to start over here on this end and we're going to work our way over to the side that has the yarn tail on it. So we're going to take our first loop right here on that row, that last row, and the one right next to it, we're going to push it through from the bottom and pull it through to the top. And you see where you've made, it looks like a little V here. Now we're going to take that loop, the next loop on the row, we're going to take it, push it through from the bottom and pull it through to the top. And what we're going to do that is all the way down the next loop, push it through, pull it from the top through. We're going to just work our way all the way down this row to the very end. Take this loop, push it through, and the one you push through, you're going to go to the next loop and push that through. And we're making our way to the end, and I'll show you here in just a second. This is my last loop on this little swatch. Now, we've done that all the way down, and you see how it makes um, a V pattern right here on this top row. Now you have one loop left. That's the one, the very last one on the end. Now you have this yarn tail. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this yarn tail, and you're going to push it through that loop and pull it through and then pull it tight. Now what I like to do with this yarn tail is I like to push it back through one more time. And then just pull it snug. Now what I do with my yarn tail is I'm going to take it and I'm going to weave it into the project and follow the lines of where the yarn is in these prior stitches where it looks like it it just blends in. So I'm going to take one of these loops and I'm going to push it through with my fingers. If you have a crochet hook you can use that to help you and you're just going to pull it all the way through. See? And then you're going to take that yarn and you're going to go down to the next row and just work your way. Just I would take it and work it, weave it in Here's a hook if you want to see how that looks when you're using your hook. Wrap it around there and just pull it through. And work your yarn in that way where it blends in. Use my fingers. I'm going to take it and push it up through this other stitch. And just pull it through and pull it up a little tight. And do that a couple more times to make it blend in and then we'll snip it off in just a second as we work down a little bit further 
and what that does is it secures that yarn and um, it gets hidden inside of your work as your uh, once your work is done I think that's far enough right now for this swatch so you kind of get the idea get our scissors and we snip it off as close as we can without cutting into the project and there projects all done and look at your top row it's looks really neat and finished all right thanks for tuning in um, be on the lookout for some more videos coming your way showing you the difference between knitting and purling as you work through this finger looping yarn and i have some more stitch patterns coming as well this right here is the stockinette stitch pattern so i'll put a link in the video so you can see how to make that so have a good day and we'll see you soon